number of initiatives. The, the targets in the, uh, the plan that relate to us relate to basically citizen engagement. And so what's been interesting for us is that there's a number of places within uh, the, uh, the targets and the actions that uh, rely on volunteers ultimately for us to achieve the vision we've created for ourselves. So there's a natural alignment for what Volunteer Calgary is trying to do in terms of encourage citizen engagement that line up really well with the plan. So we've uh, launched a number of initiatives uh, since we became an Imagine Calgary partner that relate to trying to encourage citizen engagement. And what's neat is that we don't uh, really place uh, any value or direction on where that engagement happens. And so whether a person cares about children or the environment uh, or the physical space, uh, museums, it doesn't matter. The idea is that all of those various aspects of the plan need volunteers to help make them become a reality. And we're working to try to help engage people. We're trying to do that in a few different ways. Some of the most uh, more significant efforts that we're doing that are quite a bit different than say in the past is we're trying to encourage different types of volunteers to volunteer. So for example we've launched an ethnocultural engagement strategy where we're trying to take advantage of all of the great gifts uh, the recent newcomers to Canada that have come to Calgary come with so that there's a way that if we can encourage those recent immigrants to become volunteers in the broader community there's a much greater chance that the uh, Imagine Calgary plan will gain the benefit of these newcomers. We're doing a lot of work with employee volunteers. A lot of corporations in Calgary are very interested in getting their employees out uh, and coming out as a team of employees and so we also see this as a huge opportunity to to link our work in terms of encouraging this kind of volunteering to some of the Imagine Calgary targets as well. Same idea if we think about what's in the plan there's a huge opportunity for corporate Calgary to contribute not just in financial ways which they do very often but in actually mobilizing employees to become volunteers in aspects of the Imagine Calgary plan. And then the last one is uh, an interesting one and it's uh, trying to recruit families and youth to volunteer. And this is where we think there's a golden opportunity to engage the average citizen in the vision of Imagine Calgary. So we're trying to encourage families to volunteer and young people to volunteer in new and unique ways. And I think there's also some neat alignments that we've been working on at Volunteer Calgary to link them to some of the activities that are in the Imagine Calgary plan. It's uh, really important for Volunteer Calgary to be an Imagine Calgary partner because our mission is inherently community-wide. And so when we look at the Imagine Calgary plan, there's a tremendous amount of alignments. And we were one of the partners that helped created the plan. So there's no uh, surprise, I guess, that what we care about, as uh, what many groups care about, is uh, in the plan. That's why we took the effort to uh, get feedback from thousands of Calgarians and hundreds of organizations. So we believe in the idea of community effort and community mobilization for a bigger, broader purpose. So for us, it's really just us doing our work. It's uh, uh, our job to try to engage the community on a broad scale and so it's great to be able to see that the plan has embedded in it in many places volunteers is a criti critical aspect of getting the plan off the ground and so for us being a partner is just natural and it is uh, I think a really great alignment and I think that's why so many of the existing Imagine Calgary partners are partners because uh, you know, we each do our work and so there's opportunity to connect into something bigger through the Imagine Calgary plan by being a partner. So if you think about it, we all have visions that are very similar, whether it's Volunteer Calgary's vision or other groups' visions. And so I think this is the golden opportunity to practice what we preach in our strategic plans because we talk about missions and visions. And so I think it actually, in my aspect, it's absolutely essential that you plug your mission and your vision in to this broader vision that we've all created because that's the essence of why you, why you create a mission and a vision is it's part of plugging into the bigger picture. And so I think for any nonprofit or corporation, I mean, for most, I'm sure, of Calgary, that vision, when they read it, they can relate to it, they want it. And so here's an opportunity to actually tack, tactful, I guess, uh, let me say tangibly, and tactically link what you're doing into what hundreds of other groups are doing to a common purpose. I think there's no better strategic way to do your work in the nonprofit sector than by linking into this bigger plan. Otherwise, we're working in these insular pockets, right? And we're working to all of these independent visions. And it's not to suggest that you don't keep your own, you know, respective vision, but I, I would challenge an organization to not find something in that Imagine Calgary vision that doesn't already relate 
relate to what they want to do, what they want the, you know, the community to look like in the future.